Hey, it's Quentin with DAS. This is kind of an impromptu video, um, but as some of you may or may not know, my original SaaS product that I ever built was called Capri AI, and we still are running it today. And I'm super excited because I just integrated a new GPT-3 powered feature for the app um, that really will help with sales follow-up, especially if you have a lot of leads that you're trying to follow up with and you don't have as big of a team as you need to follow up with all of them. Uh, uniquely. So let's just take a look. So if we go into the workflow here, I have this webhook and this webhook says systems.capriai.us slash GPT-3. So this is our new endpoint that we just got to implement today. Um, and the prompt, the one that I have selected right now, I actually don't remember. I think it's the real estate one. But if I pull up my notes here, I actually have a ton of different prompts for all different niches. Um, and if you want all of these, you can comment prompts below and I'll actually send them over to you for free um, because I just want everybody to be able to try this out. So this is just for chiropractic. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it here in the prompt custom data field. And then in the temperature, I'm going to leave it at 0.8. Max length is good. Frequency penalty is 0 0.1. And I'll link another video below that shows a little bit more detail about what these mean. But for now, you can just follow these exact uh, details and I'll include them with a prompt too um, so that you don't have to remember them all at once. But I'm going to go ahead and save that action, save that workflow. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to my contacts, click on my new contact that I just created that has my phone number uh, connected with my Twilio number in go high level and i am going to add myself to that workflow so if i'm going to move my own face here out of the way click on active choose the one that i called it which is ai outreach click add uh, and then in just a second it should add me to that workflow and send me uh, a unique message there we go. So, hey, Quentin. Hi, Quentin. Ashley from Buford Chiropractic here. We've been named North Georgia's leading chiropractic office for two years running and provide expert care for all ages. I'd love to get you in for an appointment soon so we can discuss your goals. What do you think? I think that's pretty good. Um, and so that came from this prompt here. So this prompt uh, is the one, again, if you want access to it or if you want me to send it to you, just say prompt below or prompts, I guess I should say. Now, you might be thinking, well, I can just write that out, right? It won't take me too long. But the point here is that one, it can be unique for every single contact that you're sending it to. So let me just go ahead and add again to that workflow. Let's say it's been another day and that person still has not responded. I am going to go to that same workflow. If I can find it, sorry. Click add and then just like that, I don't have to do anything. It'll automatically come up with another one. Just want to check in, see if you had any other questions. I'm here to answer any questions you may have about our services, how we can help you achieve your goals. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. So as you can see, these are two very different messages, but I didn't have to do anything except feed it to the AI with the prompt. Um, so that's the cool thing that GPT-3 can be doing. And if you've seen all the hype around chat GPT lately, this is the kind of stuff that it's really going to empower people to do. Um, not just conversational back and forth, but also just creating unique content that usually takes a lot of time or energy um, and otherwise would be really hard to do. And the cool part about it is let me go hit another prompt. All I got to do is take this real estate prompt. Now, let's say I want to do this for a real estate group uh, here in Atlanta, which is where I live in case you haven't picked up on that yet. <laughs> I'm going to change out this prompt here. I'm just going to paste over the whole thing, save it. Click save, do a little magic on my back end so I can uh, restart it and give me, uh, which is, I'm just going to create a new contact. Um, so give me one sec. All right. So the reason I deleted my contact, by the way, is so that the context resets. It's kind of confusing if you tell it at one time that you're an assistant named one thing and then another time you're an assistant named another thing. So just to make sure that we reset the context, I created a new contact altogether. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add to that same campaign again, but this time we've changed out the prompt. Um, to be for a different focus. So let me just find that campaign again, uh, workflow, I should say. Remember this workflow, all it is is just a webhook step. So you just point to that webhook, add your custom data for whatever the temperature you want it to be, prompt, all that kind of stuff, and go from there. So this one's for the Atlanta Realty Group. I know you're having, I hope you're having a great day. It's Amanda from Atlanta Realty Group. I'm sure you remember that you'd express interest in our real estate services. We've been helping home buyers in Atlanta since 1953. 
and would love to help you find the perfect property too. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm here to answer any questions. So not the best. I would say the chiropractic one was a little bit better. Maybe it's not as good at real estate, but again, through prompts, lots and lots of prompts, you can uh, have it get a little bit better. And you can also change out the temperature and the temperature will change the creativity aspect of the bot. Um, you can also change the frequency penalty. So I'll include everything that you can include in the custom data. I'll include it with the prompts, but uh, it's pretty cool. So checking in, this is Amanda from Real Atlanta Realty Group checking in. I know you expressed interest in our real estate services. I want to see if you had any questions or if you're ready to take the next step and meet with one of our agents. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to change it out to one more. Um, I'm going to go to automation here. I'm going to go to AI outreach. I'm going to change it out one more time to a different niche just to see all right so fun fact about this one uh, i used chat gpt to make this prompt i gave it the other two as examples and then i used chat gpt for this one so let's just see let's see how it does i'm just going to copy and paste it i haven't changed anything except the name i didn't like the name i gave um, so i gave a different name i'm going to go back to my contact uh, i'm going to delete it and recreate it one more time all right, so I've got that contact uh, deleted and recreated just to get them to reset the context and this time it's got the uh the new context in here and i'm going to add to that workflow one more time and let's just see what it gets this one was generated by a GP, or chat gpt i should say so i'm pretty interested hi this is victoria from smile bright dental just want to follow up and see if you have any questions about our services today our last day to book appointments for the month so don't miss out wow creating some uh actually creating some urgency there that's pretty impressive i didn't train it into that at all um, that was the one chat GPT decided to give it. So I wonder if I do it again. All right. So let's, let's say it's been another day and I still haven't responded back uh, to Victoria here. So let's see what happens. Today's the last day to book up on. Hey, just wanted to check in and see if you had any more questions about the services we offer at Smile Bright Dinner. We're here to answer or dental. We're here to answer any questions you may have and help get you care you need. Let me know if you need, if I can meet any assistance. So these are pretty good, complete thoughts. Uh, not too long. You can also shorten them if you want to have a lower output token. You can add more rules and different examples and stuff in the prompt. But um, yeah, I'm creating a good list of a bunch of different uh, prompts here of different uh, industries. So if you're interested in getting an example for each of these industries, just let me know. Um, comment prompt down below and uh, I'll send everything on over to you. So I look forward to chatting with you soon or uh, getting your feedback. Thanks so much for watching.